Well, happy Friday, Calvary. So good to be with you here today. My name is Robert. Thanks for joining us for your word for the day. You know, as we share our final devotional thought from the book of Colossians today, it's been an interesting journey. For the last five weeks, we've walked through this book and gotten to hear the heart of Paul as it relates to the Colossian church and how that intersects our life as well. And as he winds down his letter, he gives an individual a specific instruction. See, in the, the final verses, he says this. He says, See that you fulfill the ministry that you have received in the Lord. You know, it's easy to hear him say ministry and simply take that to mean church staff, uh, a church staff position, uh, a pastorate, a missionary journey, or some other official ministry capacity. But the truth is that everyone who's a follower of Jesus has received a call to ministry. This may or may not be a call to go overseas in missions or a call to preach or lead worship on a stage, but it is a call to be in the business of sharing the good news of Jesus. See, Jesus told those who were gathered after his resurrection, before his ascension into heaven, he said this in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, he says, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. That means for those who call Jesus our Savior, our call is to be his witnesses, to be his representatives, to be his ambassadors. This means we're to represent Jesus in our homes, our workplaces, in our areas of recreation, and in the community. Practically, this means in the same way that pastors take responsibility for a church ministry, all who call Jesus their Savior take the responsibility of ministering to the people that they know and have a relationship with. And I think this is incredibly important because you know and have a relationship with people that I may never meet or have a closer relationship with. So if you rely solely on the pastoral staff of your church to reach your friends, it may not be enough because God has entrusted you with the ministry of those you have a relationship with. And just as Paul had this hope for the person he was writing to, this is our hope for you as well. His desire for the church and our desire for you is for you to fulfill the call and for the ministry that God has entrusted to you. And more than likely, that's the people that you have a relationship with. So be about the business of representing Jesus well to them. Be about the business of sharing the good news of Jesus with the people that are in your circles so that we may all exalt Jesus together in eternity. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.